Perth researchers are leading a world-first study hoping to delay the onset of Parkinson's disease or give sufferers a better quality of life. The common neurological condition affects 80,000 Australians. Now researchers at Curtin University are combining two non-invasive therapies to stimulate parts of the brain responsible for memory and thinking. The therapies are new, but joining them together is a world first. I've always followed the philosophy of um, give it a go. I would like to, to, to get to back to the way I was. For more, I'm joined now by Curtin University researcher Blake Lawrence. Blake, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me on, Tim. Great to see Perth researchers leading the way here. Can you tell us what's involved for any patients that might want to participate in this research? Yes, so there's two uh, main stages to the study. The first stage involves an assessment um, that takes about two hours long at Curtin, down here at the Neuroscience Laboratory and it involves um, measuring their memory and thinking skills. Then following this assessment, uh, we would then place a potential participant into one of the intervention groups. What sort of improvements would you ideally like to see come out of this research? Well, the main focus is to see if these two therapies, so brain stimulation and brain training, can improve memory and thinking skills in people with Parkinson's. The current research sort of tells us that these therapies can improve um, people's memory and thinking skills that do have Parkinson's. However, by combining them both together, this makes this study a world first and we are the first sort of research group to have a look at their combined um, therapeutic potential. Yeah, it's, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? And the response so far from the public, uh, how's that been? And once uh, people do get involved, how long do you expect the study to take? Well, the study started in March and we are looking at running the interventions throughout the rest of the year. Uh, we currently have approximately 11 people in the studies um, completing the different interventions and we are looking for a lot more participants. So um, to get involved, uh, you can just contact myself um, here at Curtin University and um, I send out an information pack that contains all the different sorts of information involved um, to com actually completing the study. All right, well, we wish you all the very best with your research, Blake. Perhaps we'll catch up with you uh, when it's done. You've got some exciting results to announce. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you for having me on, Tim. And we will put the details up in our Nine News Facebook page if you or anyone you know would like to become a participant in that study as well.